Currently, I have a fully networked board game and zero this mini games. It's not good. But what if instead I magically had four new mini games that I could talk about to you today? Stick around to the end as I talk about how AI helped create this video. The first ever mini game my friend and I created a Minecraft adaptation of the popular One in the Quiver game. The premise was simple, yet exciting. One shot, one kill. Bagging an opponent meant retrieving your bullet. But if you missed, be prepared to face the consequences of a long wait time or worse, a fatal end. The networking aspect was a breeze. We only needed to sync up movement and animations, then fire off a server RPC upon client shooting. Our primary goal in creating this game was to make the code reusable, as many of its features like scoring, spawning, and movement would come in handy for other mini-games. To take things up a notch, I even added a nifty endgame screen that displayed the winner, along with their earned coins and abilities. If you haven't already, go check out the first video of this series where I explain the core premise of the game and introduce you to its main features. The second mini-game I created was a reaction speed tester. Green squares randomly appear, and the player must click them to make them disappear. There are also red squares, which if the player clicks, they are killed, as well as blue squares, which act as a power-up and remove all squares on the board. The user interface was inspired by Tetris, with the player being able to see other players' boards. During this mini-game, I learned about the importance of using the right variable types to send over the network. In this example, I was originally using an integer for each square which was sent over the network 36 times every time the player's board changed. This was very inefficient and caused a lot of unnecessary bandwidth and data being sent over the network. Instead, I used bytes, which represent only 8 bits compared to an integer's 32 or 64. Looking back, I could have gone even smaller and used a nibble to make it even more efficient. 